In this video, we're going to look at how to make Python do something multiple times using loops. So let's have a look at a quick little program here. In this program, I'm going to make Python say, hello world, and it will print this out in the shell. Uh, so if I was to run that, it would just go, hello world, and the program would end. Say so I wanted it to do this 10 times. Well, I suppose I could copy it. And I could paste it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we are, we've got the same line of code ten times. But say I wanted to uh, it to say hello world a thousand times. Well, I've then got to, oh, I've got to copy and paste that uh, a thousand times. I suppose I could group it, there's ten of them, and uh, then got to... Uh, paste that another 90 times, I don't know. We're, we're getting into a very, very long program and it would probably be quite difficult for me to keep track of where I was up to. So let's just see, let's just run this and see that it does indeed um, print this out 10 times. So let's click run. I'll need to save it. And there we are. So hello world, out it comes 10 times. But what if I could make this a much shorter program and easier to change how many times it repeats? Well, we can, and we do it using something called a loop. Now, there are two types of loop in Python, and we're going to look at one of them called while. First of all, delete all of this code here, so we're left with our original print. This is what we want it to do. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave a little statement now. Print, hello world, 10 times. So we know what we're aiming to do. That's my little comment to myself, a little reminder. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop. And um, we're going to create a loop using the keyword while. And you'll notice it's turned orange because this is a keyword and it's telling us that that's what it does. And what it does, it repeats while something is true. Okay, that needs a capital T. While something is true. While something is true, it's going to do whatever we tell it to. So we're going to tell it to print uh, hello world. And like that. And then when it's finished, uh, I want it to print uh, finished, just so we know it's done. Okay, just like that. Oops, close my quotes, close my bracket. It's going to print finished. Now, I want you to notice it's got a little colon here to say uh, that we're going to start a list of instructions that we want it to do inside the loop, and it's also got an indent. That's so that it knows that this is part of the list and this isn't part of the list. So you can see there's no indent, it's not part of the list, there is an indent, this is part of the list that follows the colon. So while something's true, it's going to print hello world. Let's just run that and see what happens. Run, run module. Are you ready? Okay. And look at that, it's just saying hello world. It's not doing it 10 times. It's just doing it again and again and again and again and again. And it's not stopping. And it's not going to stop either. We are in what we call an infinite loop. Because there's nothing telling this loop to stop repeating, to stop iterating. So we need some way of counting how many times it's gone through the loop. So let me just uh, stop that. Do I want to kill it? Yeah, kill that program. And I'm just going to make a quick Python shell at the side, just so we can keep track of that. We can see the program. So what we need to do is think of a way of counting how many times um, we've been round the loop. So to do that, we need a variable. So before we start the loop, we need to think, what is the variable? So I might call mine i, or I could call it count. It doesn't really matter. In fact, let's call it count. Um, count equals how many times have we done the loop? None. There we are. So count equals zero. And what we need it to do is every time we go around the loop, we want it to add one to the count so we know where we're up to. So let's do 
um, count equals whatever count currently is. So let's do count plus one. So that will add one to the count every time it goes round the loop. And what I might do as well is get it to print the count so uh, we can see what number it's currently up to as it goes round the loop. So the first time it sh should do it, count is zero. It will start the loop. It will print hello world, print zero, add one to count, go round again, print hello world, print the count, which will be one, add one to count becomes two, and so on and so on. Let's just see if that works. Run, run module, save it, yes. And let me just see if I can pause it at some point. It's not going to let me. It's, it's getting quite... Um, there we are. That, that'll do it. Just bring the menu up. So you could see 699, 700, 701, 72, 73, 704, 705. It's saying hello world. That's how many times it's done it so far. If I let it carry on, uh, it carries on. So it's definitely doing it, but it still doesn't stop. So we've got a count. We now know how many times it's looping because we're keeping a count for adding one every time. But we want it to stop. So we only want it to loop while count is less than a certain number. So we're going to change this true to a condition. We're going to put a comparative statement in there. And while the statement's true, it will loop. And when it's false, it will stop looping. And it will skip all the um, instructions in the list here. So let's put a little statement. Let's say while count is less than 10, let's print hello world. And let's see if it does print it 10 times. Let's run one module, click OK. So hello world zero, hello world one, hello world two, hello world three, hello world four, hello world five, hello world six, hello world seven, hello world eight, hello world nine. And finally it said finished. It's finally got to this bit of code. So it did do it 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Of course it doesn't say 10 because we started at zero. So I could if I wanted to uh, put a one in there and run. And there we are. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Except this time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only done it nine times. And that's because nine is less than 10. So if we wanted it to do it 10 times when we start a count at one, I could do uh, less than or equal to 10. And this time it does that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and finished. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of the print count. We don't need to see the number anymore. Um, and let's run that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. And if we wanted to do it a hundred times, let's change that to a hundred. Yeah, that's a hundred. Hello world. Wanted to do a thousand. We just type run. Okay. And it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to do a thousand hello worlds, but it is flickering. It's doing it. And now it's finished. It printed a thousand of those. Now, the key thing here um, to remember is, let's just put it back down to uh, 10. So it should only print 10 of them. If we forget to do this bit, let's just put a comment in front of it. That means it won't do it. Um, if we run that, we get back to a situation where we're stuck in an infinite loop because we never change the variable. Uh, so you can see it's stuck there. Um, okay, let's just kill that. And if we put that back, that will be fine. So it's really important when you're using a loop that you start off with a variable to keep count of how many times you've been around the loop. You then need to create your loop using the while, and then you need a comparative statement um, that becomes our condition. If this is true, then do what's inside the loop. We say what's inside the loop by using the colon and indenting any statements um, that we want it to do while this is true. And if that's false, um, then it won't run this at all. 
So let's just change something here. Let's change count to 11. Now count is 11. Is count less than or equal to 10? No, that's false. So it will never do this. Let's just see if that's true. Let's run the module. Finished. It just jumped straight to finished. It skipped this because this statement was false. 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So we can do that. So we can then put anything in here. We can print out the account. We can print out hello world. We could get it to do anything we liked and it will do it. Um, let's bring that back down to one. It will do it 10 times. So we could add lots more instructions in there. So that's how to create a count controlled loop using while in Python.